Hello everybody. My name is Dan Paul Hamas. I'm the Associate Director in the Alumni Office and I'm here to talk about tailgating today. We're here to celebrate Tailgate 2010 taking place during homecoming weekend in October. And we're going to talk a little bit about tailgating and what it means to tailgate Binghamton University style. Here's our team, well, team alumni, Team Smoldering Spoon! <laughs> We're talking about the five P's of tailgating, and I made that up myself. The first P is plan. And what that means is it requires a little bit of thought. You want to think about who you're going to invite. You want to think about who you're not going to invite. You want to think about what your theme's going to be. You know, if you're at a Giants game, you're not going to come in your Eagles gear. Unless you really want a little bit of trouble. So you want to think it through, plan it out. It's supposed to be fun, but you really want to think about what you want to accomplish. The next P is prep. You're going to want to get your stuff together and this is where you pick your food, this is where you pick your drinks, this is where you get your stuff ready and you pack it in a, in a manner that makes sense. You get yourself ready to get to the tailgate party. You are going to be partying out of your vehicle. Packing is very important. You're going to want to unpack that stuff quickly. You're going to want to have a good time. You don't want to take a lot of time wondering where everything was. I like using these big gray bus tubs or boxes, things that that are easy to carry. You want to pack your vehicle and you might have to really mush stuff in there. You might have a grill. You're going to have a cooler. You might have a couple friends in the trunk. I don't know what kind of party you're having, but you're going to want to pack accordingly. Now you're loaded up. You're packed. You're in your car. You're driving to the event. You might be going to your Giants game. You might be going to your Jimmy Buffett concert. Or, hopefully, you're coming to Tailgate 2010 right here in the Event Center parking lot in, in October. You have to find a good spot. Now, this means getting there early. This means arriving with friends so you're all parked together. And this means getting in a spot that's near where you want to be. It might be the restroom. It might be the soccer field. It might be just being close to your friends. So you're going to want to park in a good spot that makes sense for you. A tailgate should be a good time, it should be a party, and it should be a time spent with friends. If you've done the first four steps, the last is going to be easy. If you think about the theme, you can't go too crazy. At the, at the event center tailgate, you can't wear too much Bearcat gear. You can't wear too much green, and you can't have too much green face paint. You can not go overboard with the theme. It's, it's, great. it's a great opportunity to get together. You should move about. You should, you should look for other people who you know. You should really enjoy the environment. Tailgating is very laid back. And it's, it's really, you have your own space, but really, it's one big party. And everybody comes to play and to celebrate the same thing when you're at a tailgate party. OK, friends, we've done what we meant to do. We've talked about tailgating. Now there's only one thing left. Meet me here on the weekend of October 8th, 9th, and 10th at Binghamton University for Homecoming 2010. There's always room for one more at our tailgate party. Mm.